Hello. I'm live on YouTube, right? You should be. Yeah, it says I'm live. Should say I'm live at least. Yes, it does. <clears throat> All right. So this this is gonna be the last LSLP on um. This is gonna be the last LSLP on YouTube. So. We're gonna go until we get the final car, and we're also gonna go and do the last mission, but we're gonna have to wait on that end. Hello, Zach does stuff. Steven Marinara. Um, hi. Shelly Neal. Lord Lulzy. Cat Burger Gotcha. Uncreative. It's the League. Uh, anyone I'm missing? <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, no, so this is gonna be the last one on, here on YouTube. At least, the last LSLP on YouTube. I still can't really move, um, I can't necessarily move, uh, the Saturday streams. So I'm kind of, yeah. Missing one person. Mr. Con Man. Alright, well, hello, Mr. Con Man, then. Uh, yeah, no, we've got one more car to get. Um, so we're gonna be spending the majority of this stream getting the hearse. And then we're gonna do that last mission. And then we're done. And then I can move everything. I don't wanna do Cloud King. I wanna do Mr. Cloud. But then, yeah, then I'm moving LSLP over to Twitch. If you do not follow my Twitch, you are missing out. I do very regular streams there. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you um, like, I, I've been streaming like twice a day, at least. So you are missing out uh, on, on Twitch. Um, I can't move Saturday streams though, so I mean, if you guys are really that vehement on not moving to Twitch, you do always have the Saturday streams, so. <laughs> you know, I don't know, how many points do I need for the hearse? go check on that how much a nightmare of evergreen terrace is left um we're essentially done minus the one vehicle we need to get from Gil and the one mission so I'm gonna spend the rest of the stream doing that even if it takes over an hour we're gonna or this is the finale so yeah you gotta make it count. 750. All right. Time for instant card. Well, we can't do that. We can't do that because we still have another mission that we're going to do by the end of the stream, so... Okay, well... I ain't dealing with this shit. Fuck. That didn't work. Whatever. I can lose them. Ah. <sighs> Make this count by saving all that money on a car you'll never use, just like real life. Yep. Look, it'll be worth it. I'll 100% the game and... All will be... All will be fine. Fuckers. 
moving out of the way. No, not do mission. I mission. I. I have no idea what you're saying, Shelly. No, I'm a hundred percenting this game. Um, we're gonna get that last car, and we're gonna do. We're gonna do the thing. Were you excited for that delayed Nintendo Direct? A little. I was a little interested to see what they had in store, but whatever. I'm just hoping everyone's okay. Oh. The witch is gonna be really easy to demolish. Should be. Hello, Comet Kun. You find it funny how the Simpsons were able to predict Donald Trump's presidency and mainstream media wasn't? Uh, well, a little. I mean, Trump was trying to run for presidency before, so they were just making a joke off of it, more, more or less. Well, it doesn't look like the witch is gonna falter anytime soon. Thoughts on the media? Um. Mmm. So we kinda need the media, don't we? But you know, you can just turn off the cheats by entering them in twice or resetting the game. No, you can't. I've tried. Are you, are you kidding? Do you think I haven't tried as a kid? Nah, you need to restart the game if, if you put in cheats. Yeah, resetting the game basically. Never mind. But you entering them twice doesn't entering them twice doesn't turn it off. You can't turn off cheats. Compromise for people not in the Twitch migration. Are you finally going to make stream highlights for feudal streams? No. That's, uh, it takes too long. If you don't want to migrate to Twitch, you're missing out. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, there is the, the Doodle Streams channel. I put everything on there. So you're not missing much if you're subscribed to that channel, but... Motherfucker, really? That damn Plow King. Getting stuck. I'm gonna lose the witch, but okay. Whatever. Doesn't look like I was getting it anyway. Yeah, no, Twitch is free. You don't need to pay for a Twitch account. Um, I mean, fucking, there's ads on my videos as is, so, like, the whole ad thing that people have brought up to me, it's, that's kind of stupid, because I already have ads on my content, so you still have to watch ads, unless you have ad block, and in which case, I mean, fuck, man, like, eh. I don't have time for Twitch since most Twitch streamers I know on YouTube are streaming 24-7. And I want to do more than watch them play video games for hours or hours. Dude, my Twitch streams are not any different than here. That is not a, 
like, you don't have to watch every streamer. Just like you don't always have to watch every stream that I do here. Like, my streams are no different there than they are here. There's no, like, if you guys like watching my streams, there's not any real excuse for, like, moving, or not moving to Twitch. It's not you, it's the others as they usually upload their streams on YouTube, so? I've been uploading my streams to YouTube as well. It's on the Doodle Streams account. <clears throat> like, if you're not subscribed to that, then, like, you're still gonna be missing out. So, I don't know. It's like... I don't see a problem... Like, if you guys are able to watch my streams here, I don't really see a problem with moving to Twitch. I don't know. It's become more of a... Do you fear the day where streaming becomes more of a priority than you than doodle comms? No. Are you kidding? I've always considered myself a streamer more than a YouTuber anyway. Like, I did streaming way back in like 2010, 2011. Like, I've been a streamer long before I did YouTube. So, I'm not too worried about it if it ever happens. Um, it's not a big deal to me. You could argue it actually kind of already has become a thing, considering I've been doing two streams a day. Uh, maybe on occasion three. So, I don't know. It's, for me, again, it's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, seems like whenever I release a doodlecom at a, at, at a fast rate, people have a problem with it anyway, so. Blech. Hello, near uh, Nilero. Hello, Toro. Did I see the right opinion to this video on Storytime Animators? Yes, and it's in my, uh, it's in my watch later list. I was trying, I was getting that, uh, I, w I was cutting down on my watch later list this morning. I haven't quite gotten to that video yet, though. Who's your favorite non-commentary YouTuber? I don't know. Who's your favorite and least favorite cartoon reviewer? Well, favorite would probably be Pie Guy. That's not saying a whole hell of a lot because I don't watch a whole lot of cartoon reviewers anymore. But I'd probably say Pie Guy is my favorite. My least favorite is probably. I mean, Phantom Shredder doesn't even really do reviews now, does he? Um. I don't know. I don't really watch a whole lot of cartoon reviewers anymore, so I, I don't know. Like, I occasionally tune into Pie Guy, but... but... Yeah, that's not saying a whole lot. Do you blame Nintendo? Oh, for the power suit being her clothes or something like that? I don't know. I don't know anything about Metroid.
Did I see Foster the Gorilla's video on Wolfkitchu? No, I have not. So from what I've heard, it's probably the worst of the bunch. From what I've heard. I like how the car smoke is... is ghosts. Very nice. I like the, the tire marks. All video, all videos on Wolfie Chew are the worst video, honestly, because they all essentially say the same thing. And you know, I could agree to that if it wasn't for the fact that I know better. What was it? Not everyone made the fucking awful uh, uh, theory that like Wolfie Chew is Sweeto Tunes, and then progressively go to show her face to show that she's not. Cries on. Most pointless drama? Most of them. <laughs> of course, not all of them, just most. Hello, Dwebly. What do you like better in games? Small little details that you miss while playing the game first time or Easter eggs? Um. I mean, I imagine those are essentially the same thing. Like, you're bound to miss the Easter eggs on the first playthrough of the game. Any decisions you want to undo, or are you happy with things right now? Oh, there's a lot of things that I'd undo. Are you kidding? God, there's a fucking list of mistakes I've made in life. Um... Yeah, being a commentator is not one of them. Go figure. Did Lord Lulzy leave? I don't know. I didn't even notice. I haven't been paying him, like, very much attention at all. <coughs> I'll acknowledge him every once in a while, but I don't acknowledge him very often. He doesn't really have very much of substance. He's only there to troll the chat. Am I collecting coins? Yeah, I'm collecting, I think, 500 coins for the hairs. And we're gonna do the last mission, and even if it takes us more than an hour, I'm leaving the string going. Cause this is the finale. I'm... And then I'm gonna move LSLP over to Twitch. Uh, Saturday streams will still be here, on YouTube, just because I can't move those yet. I'd like to move them one day, but I don't expect to move them anytime soon. So, Saturday streams will still be here, but for the most part, LS, for most part, all of my streams will be over on Twitch. So. I've actually known you for a long time. The first video I saw was your commentary on Thoughtalizer. Oh, wow. Dude, that takes me back. What game am I planning on doing for the next LSLP? I'm thinking Bully. Honestly, I'm thinking Bully. I don't know if... I, uh, I'm, I don't know if that will be the one that I'm going for, but that's what I'm thinking of doing. Either that or a Hat in Time. Because a Hat in Time DLC is coming up soon, and I, you know, I definitely am going am gonna want to get that. So, one of the two. Either Bully or a Hat in Time. One of the two. <clears throat> I 
I've got I've got good things planned for LSLP. Ah, the game is great. Oh yeah, no, I've got good things planned for LSLP. Don't you worry. I just noticed that Mr. Cloud coughs at bones. Yeah, it's either bones or ghosts. cold and rainy today? Sweet. I, I gotta say, Toro, that sounds pretty fucking lucky. I like it when it rains, personally. Just a cool, rainy autumn day. Like, I like those a lot more. Um, I'm not too great on winter because it's too cold. I don't like summer because it's too hot. And I'm allergic to spring, so... Uh, fall's kind of my favorite, uh season now. Fall is definitely my favorite season. Or it has become my favorite season. It used to be spring, but then I became allergic to spring. Oof. How much did you think your defaultalizer commentary aged well? Oh no, it didn't age well very much at all. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, my defaultalizer commentary is so goddamn repetitious and, like, not good. Okay, I don't know if the points might still stand up. Might? Keyword? I don't exactly remember all of the points, but I remember there was, like... I remember there was, like, one point that I, I made a couple of times throughout the video that I don't stand behind anymore. Um, like, for one, the whole, the whole point of like, oh yeah, no, of course this would age better, of course it would be better in this game, because it's, it's, it's the later game, it's like, well, yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that it still didn't age well, like, it, it, it still was better in another game. I, I, I don't remember that point being very good. It's been a while since I've watched my Defaultalizer commentary, but I remember it was so repetitious that even at the time I didn't really much care for it once I- or like a week later. I called it one of the most repetitious videos I ever made. Um... And I think that might still be the case. I don't remember all of the points too terribly well, but I remember that one point being there, and I don't remember what- I remember looking back on it and having a problem with it. I don't remember if that was correct or not, though. I don't know. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. Maybe I can do that for a stream one day, just watch through a lot of my older commentaries. What am I- Ben the Looney commentary? Oh, that's such a nothing video. I mean, it's fine, points were okay, but it, it was kind of just nothing. It was kind of just there. Like Ryan did that one time? Yeah. First commentary I watched from you is the OG player one? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, my first, or my favorite, my favorite commentary, especially from 2016, is my Yoshi Player video. Like, from 2016, my Yoshi Player video is my best. Hands down. No, no competition. My Yoshi Player 1 was not only, like, not only were the points for the most part really solid, but I think there's maybe like one or two shaky points now, but... For the most part, my points were really solid, and I had comedy? Jesus fucking Christ. Somehow that happened. Where did the car go? 
How long do you think until Scoutfly hits zero subs? I'm surprised he hasn't already. <clears throat> I think the first video I watched from you was either your first complaint video or your Zenith video. Oh, Plef videos. Mediocre videos. Got it. <laughs> You probably label it as Doodle Tones Try to Not Cringe Challenge. Um, maybe not. My, my, because here's the thing. I didn't typically do a lot of humor. I still don't do a lot of humor nowadays. I'm not a particularly funny person. I have my moments, but I'm not particularly funny for the most part. Um, but like. So, so in those, uh, so, so in those instances, I'm not gonna have to worry about cringy humor. I just have to worry about, like, points that fucking anger me. Um, there's, there's definitely a lot of those that I don't stand behind anymore. You think Yoshi Player responded the most maturely out of the people I've commentated on? Yes. Maybe. He definitely responded very maturely, though, for sure. And I very much respect him for that. Like, holy shit. Like, Yoshi Player has definitely my respect for, for being able to just roll with it. And even improve from it, too. Like, holy shit. His follow-up video? Or not his follow-up video, like, his, his remake of that list? Minus the number 10 segment? It was a pretty solid list. I was pretty okay with that. I think, uh, okay. Yeah, I know. Yo Yo Yoshi player gets all of my respect, dude. Like, holy shit. Dude is really fucking chill. Why do you call yourself the Six Worth channel on YouTube? I think they're far better than that. Oh, it's mostly self-deprecation humor. It, like, I'd say if realistically I was to say uh, where I stand on this, uh, maybe, I don't know. Like, I, I think I'm pretty average for the most part. I am a very average YouTuber, but... No, it's, it's mostly just self-deprecation. That's all it is. Don't read too deep into it. <laughs> Ever think about having Yoshi player on a stream? For like an invitation? No. See, while while he had like while I very much respect him for how he how he responded to my video. Um Him and I like when we talked, cuz we actually did talk uh through Skype uh through a Skype call once. I don't know. It seemed a little awkward. I didn't really know him that well. He didn't really know me that well. It was just kind of there. So I don't know we necessarily like I guess I'm not against it if you wanted to join like a Saturday stream definitely not against it if you wanted to join a Saturday stream but like I don't know as it stands I don't really know the guy that well um only thing I know him for at this moment is just like being a really chill individual uh, as far as criticism goes If you're the six worth YouTuber, who are the top five worst? Figure it out yourselves. As I said, it's self-deprecation humor. It's not like a, not a real thing. <clears throat> Can you 
inform Steven Knight and I are about what Scoutfly did? Oh, God. Um. See, I don't know what he did recently to get people to unsub. But I know what he did to lose a lot of people. Uh, like, not most of his subscribers, not to where he's, like, down to 320. I don't know what he did at that point. But, um... What I do know is... The dude kind of had a... Like, a mental meltdown or something. Like, public mental meltdown. He started... Or, he uh, deleted all of his previous videos. Like, when he was still doing the cartoon reviewing thing. He deleted all of those videos. And when people asked him why he deleted all of his videos, he called them self-entitled pricks. Or like, uh, that, that just wanted him for his content, not really for him as a person. Which, is very presumptuous, but, you know, whatever. Um. Uh, then he, uh, made a video where he just basically shat on his fans. Like, completely just spit on them. Like, he didn't... Like, he, he just sat there and made fun of all of his fans, and they just kind of took it. It was really uncomfortable to watch, honestly. Like, seeing all the comments go, Yeah, Scout Fly, we, we deserve this. It's like, I... You guys are okay, right? Like, you guys are okay with this. It was... It was really uncomfortable. Scout Fly just kind of blew up on his fans. Uh, blew up on being a YouTuber, said that he faked his persona and what have you, and it was just... It was all a mess. Like, Scoutfly just lost his fucking mind, basically, is what happened. What does the fans have a scat fetish? Uh, it wasn't actual shit, but... Generally speaking, yeah, no, he just kind of blew up on his fans and, and, you know, made fun of them for being fans and... God, it was... It was like watching a nightmare. It was really uncomfortable. No, nah, like, I think my biggest, my biggest thing was the whole, uh, like, cause what, what is it? People were acting like this is new? Like, like, people were, were acting like, oh, this is so new for Scoutfly, this is out of character for him, but I really like it. I'm like, no, this is not new for him. Does, did, did everyone just fucking forget the fuck YouTube video? Where he essentially said everyone who was considered themselves a fan, uh, aren't fans. Uh, and how YouTubers make too much money, and how it's all fake, and how, like, nobody should have fans. Like, did everyone just collectively forget that memory, or is that just a me thing? Because I did a DLC TV on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Comment Coon, I did a DLC TV on it. It's like, did everyone just collectively forget that was a video? Cause like... That's not new for Scoutfly. It was just more public and more in your face than it was before. Cause before it was just one video. During that time, it was five or six videos. Um... Scoutfly is just not someone that was uh, ready for YouTube, to be honest. Would you consider Scoutfly the worst cartoon reviewer as a person? Yes.
Yes, I definitely would. All of the subs of old people who go back in my day when they see a new cartoon to be announced, he must have went to his head. Maybe. Yeah, he only has 340 subs now. Ever heard of a YouTuber named Alpha J? So, yeah, Alpha J is okay. Like, He's, I've actually seen some of his stuff. He's okay. He's not amazing. He's kind of just... I mean, he's not bad. I've seen Saber Spark. Saber Spark is also kind of a little weird as far as how I feel on him. Like, again, he's not the worst, I guess. Alpha Omega Sin had a meltdown because people wanted to know why he hasn't uploaded. Gee, it's almost as if when you get a following and you don't upload for a long period of time, people wonder what the fuck happened. I know if I stopped uploading just in one, you know, month or so and didn't do these streams. Like, assuming I didn't do these streams. If I didn't upload for, like, a month, someone's bound to be questioning. do with funerals and not wanting to talk about it, saying I don't need to explain my fucking life to strangers. You don't need to. All you needed to say was, hey, I, or, like, all you need to say in a, in a regard like that is, hey, I haven't uploaded a lot lately because, you know, personal stuff. That, that would be it. Your viewers would understand. Some might pry. Some. I'm not gonna deny that possibility. But, like, all you need, like, you, you could still be vague about it and still, you know, give fans, you know, an explanation that explains, hey, I haven't uploaded a lot because it's just, it happens. Ugh, no, I'm not really particularly interested in commentary material like that. I've got another video that I want to fucking hit. Uh, I'll probably... I'll probably record for that maybe later today, if I run out of things to do. You think skits and commentaries are funny? I believe skits and commentaries can be funny. They have the ability to be funny. Got 200 more to get. Again, we're gonna go until we uh, until we finish this game. So we still got. I mean, we still technically got 30 more minutes. But you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for full long haul. 
Make a commentary on Megadoob's video on that Kit Douglas? No. No thanks. I don't really care. <clears throat> I have, like, no interest in commentating on Megadoop again. Stop spotting degenerate irrelevant now retards. Oh, we got another troll in the chat. Got it. <coughs> There's just another troll in the chat. Ignore him. God, that'll be something I won't miss. All in all, Doodle Scout Flight committed career suicide, and I think that Alpha Omega Sin might have done that too. More or less, yeah. Did you know that Kitty Grade deleted the video you commentated on? Oh, I know. Kitty Grade deleted his channel after that video. Which was not something I expected, honestly. Hello, Death Grip 500. Yeah, this game is hell. I'm currently just trying to grind so I can get the final car, and then we can do the last mission, and then we're done. Is it fine that I kind of think you're the Anthony Fantano of the CC? What do you mean by that? What's your opinion on spoilers? I don't like them. I, I try to avoid spoiling things for other people, especially if it's new. Um, I, so I try, I, try to, I try to avoid spoiling things for people. I try to avoid spoilers myself. Because, like, spoilers take out big surprises. I mean, come on. Inherently, they take out big surprises. Was he too insecure? Scoutfly? Yeah. Scoutfly was definitely a little insecure. Favorite NES game? Uh... That implies that I've played very many NES games. Um... I don't know, probably the first Super Mario. Super Mario Bros. I don't know, I think you're kind of Anthony Fantano-y sometimes? I, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, Pikmin Planet. Let's go through repeated quick reverses and forwards with the car. I'm just waiting for my, um, my wanted level to go down. And because I get a little fidgety sometimes, I just do this. Oh, Kitty Great. Yeah, probably. Anthony Fantano is a music reviewer, uh, Larvesta. I don't entirely know what what Pikmin Planet means by Anthony Fantano y though. It's a little weird, but alright. Yes, Kaido, I get it. It's not I mean Yes, I get it. <laughs> Stephanie 
Stephanie cleans. Stephanie cleans that. It's 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 taking Stephen King and and making it feminine. And then instead of it, it's that. No, I get it. I get it. Weird twelve o'clock thoughts. Oh. Anthony Fantano, right. Tiles are never the funny parts of Tree House of Horrors. No, they're not, I guess. That's just... Ha, uh, I, I, I get it. Goddamn here's got in the way. Here's first. I pronounce it weird. I pronounce it two different ways. I don't know which way is the right way. There we go. Any famous song I wish I made? No, not really. Being famous sounds like hell. Being infamous is worse. Well, that didn't work. Alright. How long have you kept track of the Billboard Hot 100? Um... I have not kept up with it in... Two years. Even though it's my... It, it is my, um... Uh, it, it is my, uh, Firefox homepage. Like, Billboard Hot 100 is my Firefox homepage. It reminds me that I need to do those those Hot 100, or those Billboard in a Year videos, but god damn, do I n not want to do those. How much money do you make as a YouTuber? Not nearly enough. Uh, I make a hundred dollars every two months if I'm lucky. Is Gmo Ski still around? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he is. He's a famous rapper. Well, famous rapper. Quote unquote. He's more underground, I guess. Thoughts on BTS? Um. Eh. Eh. I guess that's the best way I can put it. And how do you make a living? At the moment, I don't, but I'm trying to fix that. Uh, I'm really, really trying to fix that. It would be amazing if I could start making enough money to make a living off of doing YouTube. Um, it'd be amazing if I could do that. But it, that takes work, dedication, and I'm trying to do that. So... Which is worse, being so infamous that you're pretty much a joke or fading into obscurity? Um... Both are pretty bad, to be honest. Although being a joke, I guess, or being so famous that you become a joke, I guess you can, like, laugh at yourself. So I guess that's not that bad. So I guess fading into obscurity. I, I think that would be worse. Just based off a of process of elimination. What would I do if I ever surpassed PewDiePie? Um. Worry that I got too big too fast. Or even if it wasn't, like, immediately, um. I'd worry that I just got too big just in general and I'd have to keep. or I'd have to watch what I say and stuff like that. I definitely wouldn't be able to do commentaries anymore. That's, that would not, that would not be a thing. I wouldn't be able to do that, because that'd be seen as bullying everyone. And, uh, that is not something that I want to do. 
No, that's not what I want to put up with. Oh, I'm not fully done yet. Okay, we've still got more. You're an example of what not to do. Um. Well, then probably fading into obscurity would be better. Still got 300 more to go. Or no, um, a little under 300. I got 150 more to go. Did any Trias of Horror scare me as a child? Uh, not really. Trias of Horror is not really a scary thing. It's mo It's not meant to be scary. It's just meant to. It's meant to be for the, the, the Halloweens. Any plans on doing something with my art skills? What art skill? That implies that I have art skills. The Halloweens, yes. The Halloweens. Wait, hold on. Did I get character costumes? I don't! I'm not even close to done yet! I just thought of that. I don't have the character costumes yet. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. I was just watching Spectrum Pulse's Billboard Breakdown series. No thanks. <coughs> I'll pass. I've got my own Billboard series to worry about um, that I've not done in like a year or two now. Are you asking too many questions? Um, no, not really. I'm answering a lot of questions from a lot of different people. I'm trying to, at least. No 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 Fuck Fuck Damn it Do I gamble? Do I trust the gamble system? We'll do it. Gam gamble system might be easier. Of course, we need a fast car to do this with, so... <sighs> Fucking shit, man. Um... Thank 
turns like a dream. It's really fast. Let's do it. Oh no, I was way ahead of you. Damn it! money I get, I'm gonna lose from this. Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Alright. Madra, I'm gonna be honest with you, or Madara, or whatever, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you, all you're gonna do is spam, I'm gonna have to remove you from the chat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hide you on the channel. <laughs> Alright. We're doing this for the long haul, so, I mean, buckle in, guys. We've got enough to fucking do. Yeah, I got busted. Fucking shit. That was not my intention in the slightest. What if you were out to play this whole game without getting busted? If you'd have a lot of coins, you would have a lot of coins. But you'd also have to get away from cops a lot faster. I don't really care, Kaido. It doesn't matter to me. They're gone now. <laughs> the fucking way! Oh my god. Pedestrians. Fuck. Oh, shit. Okay.
you catch the Easter egg I told you for Conker's Bad Friday? Yeah, I saw it, but I don't really care, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of much more focused on something else right now. Hold on, why is why am why is the payout not getting back to me? Does the gamble not actually give The gamble actually doesn't give anything, does it? It's not actually giving me any coins. This is really stupid. Well, I guess we're doing going back to the first method of, of farming. What card games are a part of besides Yu Gi Um, I used to play cha a lot of Chaotic. I used to play uh, Magic Gathering. I used to play Pokemon. I used to play Neopets. Uh, I have the Dot Hack card game. Um, there's a lot. You don't understand. I was a big card collector growing up. Thoughts on the little pump in Kanye Roblox song? It's so surreal. I love it. No pun intended. <laughs> yes, Neopets had a card game. You need to use the worst car in the game to get paid big for a gamble race. The gamble is based on what car you use. Oh. I didn't know that. Hello, MLB Pros 21. The more stats, the bigger the reward, but a huge punishment if you fail. <sighs> I figured. So I'll just do this then. I'll just do what, I was, what I've been doing. It's slower, but it's more effective. Since you've covered the Go Animate community more than once, will I cover Plotagons? Um, I was gonna cover Plotagons in uh, in the Go Rantimate Chronicles because I consider that part of the Go Rantimate community anyway. Morning sketch. Is it weird?
weird that I sometimes forget that you're not streaming on Twitch and I sometimes try to at you by your Twitch, you, Twitch name and not your YouTube name. No, not really. Who and what are Plotagons? <laughs> who, oh, who or what? Plotagons are like Go Animate, but they're 3D. Generally, that's what, I, that's what it is. Plotagons versus Pentagon, who would win? Oh, clearly Plotagons. They would just ground Pentagon. And then Pentagon can't do anything. Like that one grounding video made on you? Yes, that was Plotagon. Considering I never commented anything, I'm surprised you even noticed me. Uh, I mean, I notice people. It doesn't matter if they've commented or not. I don't have a lot of people in these chats very often, so I can just talk. It's not like hundreds of people watch my streams. Watch the Plotagon video of the ra of a rabbit call or of rabbit calling Tigger the N word and getting viciously grounded. <laughs> That's funnier than me than it should be. Oh god. <laughs> So unfair, you and Jonah get your own hate, hate base. Where's mine? <laughs> Give it time. Where did the. There it is. Scientifically, how would the tire fire be possible? There can't be a fire that never goes out. Don't question it. What's the chat even? Oh! Chat disconnected. That was a bit weird. But actually, how m how much would this pay out? Entry fee, payout 150 coins? Yeah, it says my payout is 150 coins. The last one said 100 coins. Ride the escalator to nowhere, exactly. Don't 
Got more of a following than Jonah, a gay, furry, comment hater, Jonah spy, furry, and a comment hater, trans, furry, and a comment hater. Well, not one of the, one of them is not, one of that, or one of those on the list is not true, and I am not a furry, but, uh, no, I get it. It's just, I don't know, give it time. You haven't done anything that pisses anyone off yet. Well, okay, scratch that. You haven't done anything that pisses off the wrong people yet. It's like I should definitely have clarified that more. Saying you're not a furry is like saying the fire is cold. But I'm not, though. To Grandpa Abe it is. Oh no no, not yet. We're um, we're still farming. We're gonna be farming for a while because I don't have all the character clothing either. Um, I'm not finishing this game until I hundred percent it. So we're gonna be here a while. This is gonna be the long haul. Did I see Nintendo TV 64's video on Himadokara? No. I don't even know who Nintendo TV 64 is. I know MTR's got a thing uh, about him, but I don't know who he is, so. Do you want 100% of the game, percent all the games you play? No. If I play Bully, I'm not doing 100% Bully. No, that is not happening. Finding all those collectibles would be fucking hell. No thank you. Isn't completing the game a major pain in the butt? Well, yeah. But, I'm gonna do it. We're in this for the long haul. I almost got 100% on bully, it just takes two years to get it all. And no thank you, I'm not doing that. That's, that's too much fucking work. Is it bad I spent less than several months making NES Gex sprites? Gex was never on the NES though. Favorite and least favorite one hit wonder. Um I can't think of a least favorite offhand. Or a favorite offhand, to be honest. I I like too many one hit wonders. They're great. Yeah, it sounds about right for a ponder stream, Danabot. It's 
Simpsons, Life and Hell, Futurama, or Disenchantment. Pick one. Futurama, obviously. I heard Disenchantment's very underwhelming. I've never even heard of Life and Hell. And while I think The Simpsons still has its moments, it, it's, it's run its course for a while. Futurama is the, the show that, like, ended too soon, but was really, really great when it was on. I don't consider Sly Cooper a collectathon, and you consider ba SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom one. Okay, <clears throat> simple. Because SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom uh, gives you multiple uh, multiple things to do, and you don't wind up needing to collect every like you don't need to collect every um, golden spatula to progress through the through the game. Like you don't need to collect every uh, you don't need to collect every golden spatula. It, it's not a requirement. You only need to collect like up to seventy, and uh, and even then, it's just you, you know it, the major goal of the game is just to collect. Whereas in Sly Cooper, while it's sure you need to collect the keys, you like if you take out that collection aspect, if you take out the keys aspect of of the game, it's just get from point A to point B. Battle for Bikini Bottom is not just go from point A to point B. There's a lot of other things you can do in Battle for Bikini Bottom. So... Uh, it's, it's more of a, it's, it's more of a game that's built on its collection aspect, less of its platformer aspect, like Sly Cooper is. Life in Hell was his comic before The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Susie, you need Thievius Raccoonus, you need to collect the pages. <clears throat> Um, you don't really collect the pages either. You can collect the pages, but those are not, re like, collecting the pages in general is not required. And you get five at the end of each level, so it's just get from point A to point B. It's not any different than, say, if you were playing a Crash Bandicoot game, which is also not a collectathon. You're mostly just doing it from point A to point B. You can technically break the boxes, and you get a special thing if you do, but it's not a requirement to beat the game. Just as such, you only collect the five Thievius Raccoonus pages, and you can you can beat the game on, on, on that end, and it's... and, and that, at that point, it's just get from point A to point B. Sly Cooper doesn't have that collectathon... like, it has collectathon aspects, but it doesn't have that collectathon nature to it, where the center point of the game is to collect a thing. Oh wait, no shit, you're not Gil. Like, I look at game- like, when I look at a collectathon, I look at what is- like, is the collection aspect the center point of how you play the game? With Sly Cooper, the answer is no. The platforming is, but the collection aspect is not. All right, we got the hearse. Uh, now I need to go and collect the character costumes. <sighs> How many? After each level, you get one page, 100%, which means you progress to certain other levels. As an example, clockwork requires you use a lot of the abilities to win, but you don't need them. You, I, sketch. I've played through. All three games, you don't actually need any of the others. Okay, I need a thousand and fifty to buy everything. I think. Oh, hold on. Five, four, that's nine hundred. No, I need thirteen fifty to buy everything. I did the math wrong. Like, I didn't. I never got any of the other pages, um, when I, when I played through Sly Cooper. You have to get certain abilities to get across certain parts. I think you're misunderstanding Sketch. Outside of the five pages that you get at the end of each boss fight, outside of those, you don't need to get a single one. I should know. I never did as a kid, but I still managed to beat Sly Cooper and the Thedius Raccoonus. I, you don't need any of the other, uh, any of the other pages. 
outside of the five that you get from beating the bosses. There is no requirement outside of that. Guilty Pleasure Series? Um... Hmm... I don't know. It does require you to get the pages since the true end to get the true Yeah, to get the true ending. Sure. But in order to beat the game, you don't need it. Like the collection aspect is an afterthought. The collection aspect is such an afterthought to, to the game, like, it, to get the true ending, sure, but if you don't want to get the true ending, you can just beat the game by getting from point A to point B in every level. Therefore, it's not a collect-a-thon. A collect-a-thon, you have to collect things in order to progress through the game. You know, that's the, that's the, it's in the name, collect-a-thon, at least for me. That's, that's kind of how it works. Other people may see Slight Cooper as a collect -a but I don't, because it's not an importance. It's an- it, it, if you take the if you take the key aspect or the page aspect out of the game, you just get from point A to point B, and you just get a typical platformer. You get a pretty okay platformer, for sure, but you don't- but, but, like, it just becomes from point A to point B. If that makes more sense. I'm, 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 I'm really trying to explain it. Like, I'm, I'm really, really trying to explain it. Um, cause every time, every time I explain what a collectathon is, someone brings up, it's like, oh, is, is Majora's Mask a collectathon? Or, oh, is Sly Cooper a collectathon? Or Crash Bandicoot? No, they're, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're not. Um, Because it's like, the main as like the center point of the game is not the collection aspect. Have I played the Talos Principle? No, I haven't. Is it any good? I always thought Guilty Pleasure Shows is something everyone hates or dislikes but you enjoy. I don't, I don't, I can't think of anything offhand. I'm sure there is, but I don't know. Guess I can see Kanoa collect fun at that point. However, you don't require yourself to get the tokens to beat the game necessarily, although Slight does require you to get the keys and pages. But if you take that collect thought aspect, that, or if you take that, if you take those collection aspects out of the game, you just get from point A to point B. You can't do that in the game like, you can't do that in Battle for Bikini Bottle. Like, the collection aspect is the center point. I don't know about Klonoa. I've never played Klonoa, so I don't know. I've never really looked into it. It might be a collectathon, and I just haven't played it. But, I just never. You can't do that to Battle for Bikini Bottom. If you take out the collection aspects, you don't have a game. The collection aspect is all you have. So, you do require to get certain pages and certain keys to actually progress. That's how you get into the boss battle. You just need the keys. You just need the keys, and the keys are at the end of each level. If you take out the keys of the game, if you if you removed the keys, let, let, let me try to explain it this way. So, yes, you do need... To, you do need the keys in order to unlock the boss battles. You do need the keys to progress throughout the game. And so technically, one could consider that a collectathon. However, what I look at is, if I were to take the keys out of the equation, if, if I was just to be able to get into the boss battles through some other aspect, I would be able to do that. I would be able to take the keys out of the game and still get the same result. Because at the end of each level, 
it's just from point A to point B at that point. Like, because the keys are at the end of the end of each level. There's nothing else in require. Like, there's nothing else a requirement for you to do other than maybe the mini games every now and then. Like, there are mini games that you can do in order to get keys, but for the most part, it's just get from point A to point B. There's nothing else for you to do there. It was there's not any aspects. Uh, like there, there, there's nothing else there. It's it's the main center point is the platforming, cause at cause it is platforming to get two keys, but the main point is the platforming. Whereas in Battle for Bikini Bottom, the main center point is hey, I've got all of these side quests to do in order to get these in order to get these uh these golden spatulas. Either I can collect all the socks for Patrick, collect the shiny objects for Mr. Krabs, um, I can do the, the, the ballroom in the, the Mermelair, I can do the, I can do the sandcastle, or the top of the sandcastle in Goo Lagoon, um, there's a lot of different things, like, it's just a big open area that allows you to go in and collect all of these, uh, all of these golden spatulas. If you take out the golden spatulas from the game, you don't really have a game. It, the game is not the same as it was. Whereas with Sly Cooper, if you took out the key aspect, it would be generally the same game. Does that make sense? I, uh, that's as much as I can, like, isn't to collect upon you need to collect an X amount of something in order to progress, such as Spyro with the gems and Spyro when you progress with the gems and the abilities to get them? It, more or less. See, with Spyro now, Spyro, the entire point of the game is to collect. Like, there's, there's nothing else there. Like, if you don't collect, you don't have a game. Like, the entire point for Spyro is to, hey, Collect all these gems, uh, collect the, the dragons, collect the dragon eggs, and what have you. So there's a lot more for Spyro, for, for Spyro in that regard. If you took out the collection aspect of Spyro, you don't have Spyro. The game is not the same. There, the, the game would be totally, like, vastly different from, from what we know of now. And again, a collectathon, you know, is different from person to person as well. I, I should clarify that because I, I know I know Pink Robot needed me to to, to to clarify that in her video, but um, yeah, no, a, a collectathon is different from person to person. But then you say that's where Sly requires you to collect the keys and the pages in order to actually get the game. I get past it, you know, call it a collectathon. If you took out the key aspect from Sly, though. You would have more or less the same game. Let, 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 let's let's put this hypothetical out there. If Sly didn't require you to get the keys, the the you could like replace like like you could replace it with gen generally anything like, say there's like a switch at the end of each level that you need to 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 you know pull the to le the lever for or, or push a button or or something like that. Um. Let's, let's, or let's just say, like, if you just go through each level, it unlocks another, uh, another lock on its own, just magically. The game would still be the same. It would generally be the same thing. Like, you would, you would be going through these levels at the same pace, at the same rate. There would be nothing really different about, there would be nothing really different about Sly Cooper as a game. You would have that with Spyro, Ty, and Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot isn't a collectathon either, for the same reason. So I don't, I, Crash Bandicoot. I I don't know why that one was brought up. But with Ty again, Ty, you have all these side quests and stuff to do in order to, like, 
in, uh, the, the, the main aspect of the game is to collect the, the... The main aspect of the game in Thai is to collect the, um, the Thunder Eggs. For Spyro, the entire point of the game is just to collect, in general. With, or, the, with Spyro. With Sly, it's... Yeah, you literally cannot do that with Spyro. You, like, Spyro, you take out any collection aspect. The game is not the same. Um... With, with Sly, it's just get from point A to point B. I can, like... I, I, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. But I don't think you're fully understanding it. And I, I, and I apologize for that. It's... Like... Is the main focus the collection aspect, or was the main focus obviously on the platformer aspect? And with Sly, I look at it and I go, this is mainly a platformer. It's, 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 it's primarily a platformer before it's a collection, or uh, a collectathon. It, it is a platformer above all else. Let's try talking about it later, then to say the least, I think your collectathon list is absolutely broken. Alright. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree that the collectathon list is kind of broken, but as far as what I think is a collectathon, I'm pretty fucking. I think I explained that well enough, or at least I have thought I've explained it well enough, but I guess if I still have questions like this, maybe I haven't yet. Well, oh, shit. Alright. Did I see your comment you made three minutes ago? Uh, no. I've been arguing with Sketch too much. I, 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 I really don't think he's getting it. But it's whatever. That's... That could be my fault. I might not be explaining it well enough. You know, with how long this is taking, I might have, I might wind up being we're very regretful of saying that we were going to do this until we finished the game. One of us could be wrong in not understanding the other side properly. I mean, I, I might be misunderstanding your complaint, but like, it's like if we're still not a collectathon by my, by, by the standards that I'm placing onto the table. Um, and, and you know, and Spongebob is, but, like, I, I, I don't know what I can do to better, to, to better relay this information. I've tried to explain it as best as I could, but if I'm not getting through, then I don't really know what else there is for me to clarify on. Not entirely sure, but there is something that separates the two. I, I see Sly Cooper as more of a platformer first than, uh, it, 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 but it has some collection aspects to it, whereas, you know, something like Spongebob has the collection aspect come first, and it just being a mere platformer is, you know, just the, the way it relays it. 
Um, that's how I see. It. That's how I see it. That's how it's been for me. But I'm guessing that I'm I'm guessing that that's not something I'm clarifying well enough. I'm at 128 out of... You know what? I had to play each game that you mentioned just to verify what you're saying. Couldn't do that with a hat in time. Uh, hat in time is definitely a collection, or a collectathon. You can't even argue that. We're doing this. Fucking... What's going on? I'm having to, uh... I'm trying to fucking, uh... Oh shit, hold on. Look up gameplay. Yeah, no, it's definitely a collect uh, collectathon. It's it plays almost a like it plays essentially like Super Mario 64 in the sunshine. Like there's no way around that one. Hat in time is definitely a collectathon. Uh, I'll have to restart the emulator when this is done, but god, I'm... This is taking far too long. We're doing this. We're gonna be farming for character costumes. I don't even fucking care anymore. This is taking, like, forever. I expected to be able to do this in, like, just over an hour, maybe. At best. So we're doing the one hit car crash cheat, and then I'll restart the emulator before I finish up the the mission. No, you're fine, Denabob. I don't... I don't mind. You're fine. This game looks like a boot like GTA. It's kinda what it is. No, it's supposed to be a GTA clone. Like, that was the intention of the game. Like... It's not even really a secret. It's got- it's the best goddamn GTA clone we have, though, so, I mean... Well, I guess... Saints Row is technically considered a GTA clone. So, okay, Saints Row is, but... 
This is the second best GTA clone we got. So, I mean, it's fine. I'm not complaining. It's broken as shit, though. <laughs> it's a marvelous mess. Aren't every Simpsons game considered a parody of something? Yeah. Yeah. That's really the intent of them. Fable 3, the prehistoric GTA clone. I wouldn't even really... I don't... I have never played Fable, so I, I guess I can't say for certain. I never, I never looked at Fable, though, and thought, hey, this is a GTA clone. I don't know how it plays, though, so I've ne cause I've never played Fable. Wouldn't be able to tell you. I just never looked at the game and thought that. Most GTA clones are garbage. Yeah, that's fair. What is the worst argument I've heard someone make? Uh... In fear of spoiling my next commentary, um... I've, I've actually heard someone get onto uh, someone else's case for saying that... Or, uh... Okay, I've heard someone try to justify the hate someone got for reviewing an anime negatively by saying, oh, but you're the one that said all of these, uh, all of these shows, or not, or, th or not all these shows, all of, or this show it has, like, terrible pacing and terrible writing, as if that was a bad thing? Like, as if, as if, you know, that was a bad thing for the person to say? As if that's not a fair and just review? Um, use your real voice is also a pretty bad, uh, argument. No, Janie, this is not my real voice. <laughs> this is this is through a voice changer. Like that's that's no secret. That's never been a secret on my channel. If you had a PS4, I actually do, but let's continue. Um, could you see a thing I think is the worst thing I've come across? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I've... Maybe, uh, pretty toxic, the argument you mentioned the person said. Oh, yeah, no. The person I'm covering is really... I really don't like that video. So questioning the random exploding cars in this game? 
Um, they're only exploding this easily because I have a cheat code on. Because Jesus do farming is awful. Farming in this game has become a tedious chore, and I want to speed up the process, because I don't want to be here all day farming coins. Do I consider it the worst video of 2018? No. Not even. But it's up there. What do you think is the worst video of 2018? Bex Fault's video on Vinny G. So many personal attacks, it's insanity. I love how the cops are just homing missiles with sirens. Yeah. What would you do if an acquaintance you're not entirely friends with turned into a meme over something? Was being turned into something mean over something stupid and it was affecting a person negatively. If it was affecting them negatively, I would step in and maybe tell people to stop it. Um, but if it's not affecting them negatively, then, I mean, I don't know why that would be an issue to begin with, I guess. Fuck! Alright. Alright. That's 1,000. Oh no, no, I need 1,350. So we're gonna, I guess, keep at this for a little longer. Hold on. I saw that right, right? Hold on. Is that a floating mailbox? This mailbox is indeed floating. Why is this mailbox floating? This 
mailbox is indeed floating. Airmail. <laughs> yes, airmail. Huh. Yeah, no, it's just stuck. It's just stuck in air. All right. Why not? What would you do if you went to the planet transsexual in the galley of Transylvania? Um... Hmm. Classic RPGs? I don't know. Have I eaten? No, I have not. And we've been at this for almost two hours now. Alright. Save game. Save here. Yes, overwrite the existing data. We're gonna restart the emulator so I can. We're gonna restart the emulator so I can play the rest of the game legitimately. I haven't cheated on the main missions, um, in fairness. In fairness, I have not cheated on the missions themselves. I've only cheated on the farming and the one time on the races. Cause, God, was that not fair. Alright. <clears throat> is this Xbox or GameCube? It's PlayStation. This is PS2. Uh, but I think it's also on Xbox and GameCube. I'm just playing the PS2 version. No, I haven't cheated on the missions themselves. Not, not on the main story missions, that is. I've not cheated on the story missions. Not once. Despite the fact that I may have thought about it a couple of times. Fuck. Oh shit, he caught up. That's not good. Get fucked! Alright. Alright. Fucker!
All right. Fuck. Come on. Still get back, I guess. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, come on. I can't see where I'm going. Fuck. Restart mission. Because <laughs> I have to. <laughs> yeah, we've heard about Mac Miller's death by now. Gotta be an easier way of doing this. don't care. We have no reason for tokens anymore. Alright. Fuck. That might cost me the run. We only have a minute. <laughs> This is such a, like, awful handling car.
Oh. My. Fuck! Alright, restart. Alright. Fuck off. Right now. I can't fucking deal with this. Alright, fine. Fuck it. Bust me if you want. I don't care. Let me set my busted level anyway. Or my wanted level anyway. Oh, s somehow that worked. Fuck! Fucker! Why are wanted levels there? In a mission like this? Fuck off, game. Can't deal with this shit right now. Can't deal with this right now. Alright, now I can get busted. It's fine. It's fine. Bust me. Don't bust up my car, just bust me. Jesus, fuck. Gonna work.
Excuse me? Gotta be kidding me.
pretty late. Like, can I do any very late this game? Alright, fine. What the f- Okay, fuck it. God! Get back in the fucking car, you idiot! You're in the middle of a race. This is fantastic. This is great. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm doing this fucking stupid mission. Holy fucking shit. Can you tell how fucking happy I am? <sighs> God, this is actually, like, infuriating. This is a lot harder than it looks. If it looks hard, it's harder. <laughs> if it looks easy, it's still harder. <laughs> doing a thing. I know I said I wouldn't cheat, but, um, fuck this. 
Like, actually fucking fuck this mission. Holy shit! This is absolute fucking garbage. Fuck this. You guys are about to see what I did. We're cheating. We are absolutely cheating. I straight up don't care anymore. Holy shit! <laughs> I have, I am fed the fuck up with this mission already. I have been at this for far too goddamn long. I'm cheating. Fuck this. If someone wants to get on my case about it, fuck off. I ain't gonna deal with this shit. This is garbage. This is fucking garbage. Holy fucking shit. I hate this goddamn mission, I've always hated this goddamn mission. Cool, I don't care. Fucking bust me. I don't give a shit anymore. <sighs> cool, fucking bust me. Or, you know, run into me, whatever. What cheat did I do? Invincible car and, uh, one hit crash. I did both, cause this mission is the most tedious, fucking, fragile thing ever. And even then, I'm still not going to be able to do it. That's the worst part, because I can't get away from this fucking wanted level bullshit either. That won't help if I crash, exactly. But, it'll help me get rid of the fucking first part of this mission. It'll keep my car from exploding, which has been a problem. That I've been trying to, to, to just, or to get over. I'm done with this shit. This is, I hate this mission. Like, holy crap. Giving us only a minute to do this. They thought that was a good idea, to only give us a fucking minute to do this. To have to get away from another fucking, from a car with the best stats in the game that you can't even obtain. <sighs> like, they expect you to, to race that, they expect you to escape from that later, and all in the course of a minute. This is bullshit. This is actually bad insight. This is bad game design to its fucking highest extent. Fuck this, I'm cheating. I know it's possible without cheating, but I am not gonna sit here and spend another fucking two hours doing this. I am so fed up with this mission. I'm so angry. Fucking God. I'm waiting for my, my level, my wanted level to go down. I don't have to worry about losing. Well, it's not even the level I hate, it's just this mission. This mission is garbage. The level itself is fine. Missions leading up to this are mostly fine. It's just this one mission. It is the final mission in the game. It is the hardest mission in the game, rightfully so. But it's also the most bullshit. It is active, like, they, they needed to give you more time on something like this. Especially since they give you a car that's actually not, that, that actually doesn't handle that well. Fucker. Alright. 
All this for a uh, golden clown sticker and a shitty cartoon parody of Tom and Jerry? No! All this to finish the fucking game! This isn't even for the 100%. This is just to finish the game. This is a story mission. If this was just a race mission, or a, oh, you know, you get this car out of out of doing this, you know, if this was just like a side mission, or a race mission, I probably wouldn't care as much. I'd probably skip over this and call the 100% run over. No, this isn't even the 100% run. This is the main story. This is the last mission of the main game. This is bullshit. And again, even then, there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to succeed in this. It's just going to make some parts easier. Some parts easier. It's going to take out two problems out of the entire problem of this with this mission. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. I wanted levels down anyway. Oh no, yeah, no, this mission is the worst. The absolute worst. If if anyone gets on my case for Actually cheating here. I'm, I'm gonna just tell them fuck off. I would love to see you guys spend time on this mission and not think once to cheat. Not even consider it. <laughs> I'd love to see you guys try. Holy fuck. If anyone ever gets on my case for cheating on this. This is garbage. This is whole grain garbage. Come on, don't crash, don't crash, don't- FUCKER! <laughs> the cemetery jump is gonna be the one that fucking does it in. Oh my god. I hate this. Restart. Has any other game pissed me off to the point and scream at your family like, shut up? Yes. Well. Yes, actually. I am so fucking done with this shit. This mission is garbage! Fucking, I don't. Wanted level. If there was a, if there was a, a, a cheat in this game to get rid of your wanted level, I would be using that too, to be honest. Then I just have to worry about crashing. Fuck shit. Restart. Why am I cheating on a mission that is giving you an actual hard time? How dare you actually want to finish this bullshit mission? Yeah. There is an instant busted meter. I don't want that though. I just want there to not be a wanted meter in general.
What is the objective? I'm gonna blow up the UFO over the school. That's the challenge. Or like, that's, that's the objective. But the challenge comes in with the fact that I've gotta race this fucking alien car. I've destroyed it, so I don't have to worry about too much about that. Get all the way to... Uh, get all the way to the power plant. Grab a, a, a highly fragile thing of toxic waste. I get, grab a, a very fragile explosive. Uh, and then in a minute, I gotta get all the way back to the school so I can blow up the UFO. But in the middle of there, I have to get away from the alien, the, the alien car again. You know, the one with the best stats in the game. This is actually the worst mission in the entire game. Right. Yes, the stream is still going on. I told you guys I was going to do it until I finish it. Shit! Fuck this fucking shit! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I really, really fucking hate this. Alien car's gone. One of the biggest difficulty spikes I've ever had to deal with in any game. Because up till now, I mean, the game isn't easy. The game is definitely not easy, but it's never been this level of bullshit. Okay, not entirely true. Frank begs to differ. Collecting while going in, not going out. Collecting it while going out saves time. Do I relate to the flying car? Yes. Definitely right now. I don't care if I got busted. There's... Oh, get back in the fucking car, you idiot. Alright. Collecting it while going out saves time. You know, unless you do that, in which case, it doesn't matter how much time you save, it's, uh, it's gonna fucking break on you anyway. Surprised you're still streaming. I told you guys I'm not going to stop the stream until I finish this game. I wanted this to be the finale because I thought it was gonna be the finale, but it's, and it's going to be the finale. So, like, what is it? Basically, 
I had thought all I needed to do was get the hearse, and then I had to collect the character costumes. And now I gotta do the final mission. <sighs> oh. My god. I took too many tries. Oh, really? Alright, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going back to the nuclear plant. I'm not gonna restart this mission. Fuck this. I delete- I destroyed the car. I'm gonna get away from it. It's fine. Yeah, I'm on the last mission. The worst mission in this entire fucking game. Alright. You gonna be... You gonna do this to me? Why do you do this to me, game? Alright, this busted bullshit is... Fucking stupid. I'm tired of it. I just wanna finish this thing. Fucking put it down. Not pick it up for years again. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta absolutely be kidding me. Alright. Guess we're back to square one again. Can you fight all three forms again and start over the whole level? <sighs> you know, the problem with this mission is the stupid fucking timer. That's the problem. It's the timer combined with everything else that causes this mission to be as bad as it is. As long as you're not timed in the Dracula fight, you can take your time and, and think things out better. In this game, you can't do that. In this mission, you can't do that. You have to just do. You can't think. You can't be careful. You can't, or, or you can't like, plan out everything that you're gonna do. Because then you're gonna get shit like this happening. Motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill something! Or someone! Garbage! I'm gonna punch a hole through a wall. You know, you need to be reckless with this mission. You don't have the time to be careful and, you know, keep everything, you know, straight on the right path. You know, you, you can't... When you're dealing with a fragile th substance like this, you need to fucking... Okay, cool. I can... Don't get out of the fucking car, you idiot! There we go. Restart the timer. There we go. Okay. This is why I also chose to do the invincible car cheat. Because with as much as I'm crashing, this car would be dead by now. There's no- there's- This game expects you to jump through hoops that are like the size of a fucking needle. It expects you to thread needles while the needle is fucking connected to a bomb. It's not fun. It's not good design. This mission is 
No worse. Actually, gonna have to restart this mission. <coughs> no, no. Again, the level itself is fine. It's just the mission. <clears throat> if I was to do a least favorite missions list, this would be on it, probably. Unless I think of something else. The level itself is fine. The mission is bullshit. <coughs> <laughs> exactly. You require pinpoint accuracy or death. I haven't even gotten halfway through this fucking mission yet. Okay, I've gotten about halfway. But I haven't... I haven't even gotten to the point where it, it, it doesn't... Or where it, I haven't gotten- I haven't gotten to the point where I am even close to the fucking school yet. need a drink. You've gotta be kidding me. You've got to actively be fucking kidding me. Do not want... Alright. 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 You know, I don't even care if I fucking had to cheat or not. I, I just, I just don't care anymore. Goodbye. Fucking shit.
Our show was a success. Why did we go to Earth Heaven when we died? Well, at least we don't have to sit through the stupid video game credits. No! All right. That's that's the end of that. Fucking shit. You know, in the long run. The invincibility cheat was all I really needed. All I really needed was the invincibility cheat. I didn't need the one-hit crash cheat, but whatever. What is the difference between an associate producer and a producer anyway? Well, if you ask me, these humans spend too much time exchanging all... Yeah, I did it, but at what cost? My sanity is fucked. Ugh. God. That's over, though. So yeah, no, as far as the next LSLP goes, it's, <clears throat> as I said, it's going to be, uh, it, it's going to be on Twitch, and it's either going to be a hat in time or bully. I could probably do a hat in time relatively quickly, but, like, it's going to be on Twitch, for, for, for sure. Um... And this stream series- no, the stream series doesn't end, it's just getting moved. And as far as the streams on here goes, here on YouTube, it's essentially just gonna be the Saturday streams until I can move those. Um... If you don't have Twitch, there's no reason for you to not have one, it's free. Like, Twitch is free, you can... make... a Twitch account. There's no... problem with that. Um, there, there's like no problem, there, there's, there's no difference really other than where it's being held. Like if you, ha for, for those who said, or someone had said that they didn't have time to watch these streams, but you had the time to watch the stream here on YouTube. I don't know why the difference would be here on YouTube, not Twitch, but whatever. Um. Okay, yeah, no, so, sorry. But yeah, no. There's no difference between here and Twitch streams, they're just hosted on a different platform. If you had time to really watch the, the, the chat here, or if you had time to be in the chat here, you had time to, to, to watch it on Twitch, there's not really a, a, a difference in that. Um, the only difference is there's maybe an advertisement, which some people doesn't don't like, and the advertisements on Twitch get around ad block, which some people don't like. But that's not very much different than these streams anyway. Because these streams, for a while, had advertisements on them. Uh, for a while, these streams were also... Um, the, these streams were also advertised. Like, they were also monetized, and, you know, there was advertise advertisements on these, these streams. So there's not really any difference on that end, either. Um, Twitch is a free... Like, it's a... You can make an account for free on Twitch. Um, just like you can do on YouTube. There's no difference. At all. If you if you had or if you didn't have any problems watching the streams on YouTube, there's really no point for you to, to not move to Twitch. On top of that, you're missing a low on Twitch anyway. On Twitch, we've been doing two streams a day, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So there's for those who can't make these morning streams typically, uh, especially during the Monday through Friday streams, you guys can make a second stream. The the these. You can always make the afternoon streams. Those are options now. They're on Twitch, though. Um, for the afternoon streams, we uh, I started up a Pokemon playthrough. 
And for the morning streams, I have this series called Road to 20, where I'm playing through various MMOs and go, uh, leveling up my characters to level 20. They're, they're, they're the slower streams, I understand that. But there are afternoon streams, and I've been playing Poke- or I'm gonna be playing Pokemon on that. I'm gonna be playing through Pokemon Yellow. And you guys can yell at me at how much I don't know about Pokemon. Um, I also occasionally do midday streams on Twitch as well, so you're missing out on a lot. On midday streams, I typically do like speedruns and what have you. Uh, or my attempts at speedruns. Um, so there's, there's a lot for me to do on Twitch. Twitch has opened me up to, oh, uh, to be able to stream a lot more and a lot more frequently and with a lot, uh, and, and I can stream a lot more various things on there. So, um, you're missing out if you're not, if you're not following my, my, my Twitch. Um, Uh, here on YouTube, the Saturday streams will still be a thing, at least until I get enough people over on Twitch, and then, in which case, I can move everything to Twitch. But, for now, Saturday streams will still be here, because most of my viewership is still here on YouTube, but I do, I do eventually want to move the Saturday streams as well. For now, though, um, this is the, as I said, this is the last, uh, LSLP here on YouTube. The next LSLP, what it, whichever of the two games it may be, will be over on Twitch. So if you want to watch those so you don't miss out, there you go. Either that, or alternatively, you can subscribe to the, uh, the, the Doodle Streams account. They're not gonna, you're not going to be able to see them live, but there is a, there's also a link down there to a YouTube channel called the Doodle Streams channel. And if you miss any streams on Twitch, you technically can watch them over there. But you're just, it's just not going to be live. It would kind of defeat the purpose of a uh, live stream. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we do get the last bit here. I, I don't think it just ends. Does it just end? Yes, it does. So yeah. Anyway, we're done. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.